Hi everybody and welcome back to my modeling channel. So today I'm gonna restore an old uh, A321 from uh, Austrian, that was the special livery. And uh, it has suffered uh, some minor damage during a relocation. I mean just the uh, horizontal stabilizer have been uh, displaced and uh, one of the uh, winglet and wingtip has been destroyed. But mainly uh, the reason why I want to rebuild that model is because, I will try to show you on the camera, uh, the paint basically has been really badly damaged. Uh, now I have the white paint over here and it's extremely rough. It mainly looks like a sandpaper, so I don't know if we really see that on camera. Uh, but I have mainly that part here and even the nose as well has a really rough uh, paint. So I'm going to have to clean this up and the decals were beautiful but unfortunately I'll have to uh, to accommodate something new. So for that build I decided uh, as I had some uh, chartlet remaining from my Zvezda kit I decided that I'm going to try to mod that A321 to a Neo and I also have the uh, engine from my previous kit from Revel. So I will build those uh, new engines, the new engines, and I will uh, correct the wings, change the engines, refix, and change the old colors, remove the, the undercarriage, and I will uh, try to get you uh, a proper and a beautiful uh, new A321 Neo. So we're gonna start this build by removing uh, all the small parts which are uh, the undercarriage and uh, of course the gear doors and uh, after that uh, we will also remove uh, the engines who's going to be replaced by the by the new one i also remove all the small antenna and then uh, we cut the wing tip at the proper dimensions then we'll be able uh, later on to add uh, our uh, winglets after that we're gonna continue uh, we're gonna cut the winglets at the proper or the sharklets at the proper size and uh, then we are going to uh, do a little bit of uh, adjustment and fitting then uh, the next part uh, we'll start to uh, rescribe and i have to say that rescribing um, on a kit is t quite time consuming after that what i did is i removed uh, all the windows the passenger windows they were uh, previously filled with micro uh, crystal clear so we removed them one by one and uh, what i will do uh, as the 321 neo has a different setting i will fill them up uh, later on when the plane will be clean and then i will add some putty but uh, shortly after removing all the windows we're going to start uh, using sandpaper and removing uh, all the decals and the paints on that uh, aircraft. So that's gonna be uh, quite time consuming as you're gonna uh, to see uh, later on. And also, uh, as I did that on a couple of aircraft, rescribing is, uh, is part of a big process because most of the panel lines have been covered by, uh, by the paint and the decals. So it is quite important that uh, you, you repass a sharp tool, a rescribing tool or a sharp knife, a scalpel, or uh, a razor blade saw in those little uh, panel lines then you will be able to remove what's remain inside and then you will be able to have a, a proper uh, some uh, proper uh, panel lines so it's, as you can see removing the paint is, uh, is quite time consuming uh, I have to say that I, I prefer to, to use uh, this sandpaper instead of uh, using the, the old uh, method with uh, paint removers so I had also some gaps so what I did after that after cleaning the model I had to uh, re-glue everything up and then I filled the passenger window with glue and then I will uh, as that's gonna melt the plastic around it what will happen is later on we will fill those windows with uh, some putty and I will of course put the cockpit windows but I will add some decals on them as I don't have any uh, cockpit details. I will do that on a further model that uh, I might purchase in the future. So after filling all the gaps uh, and the passenger window with the Tamiya putty, it was time to uh, send them down and remove the uh, excess putty. 
So for these I use uh, various uh, type of uh, sandpaper and I also have um, a sponge basically, an abrasive sponge which uh, I use normally to uh, finish the, the work. So while I did these of course I remove uh, all the antennas and everything remaining and it took quite a lot of time to get the proper uh, the proper surface and of course once again I have to go back and rescribe everything again and again to make sure that I have the the proper the proper panel line will be done correctly as there is always a little bit of paint remaining inside so you make sure that you you uh, remove all that little paint and for this you should you use normally a sharp tool so after that what I did is I had to uh, fill up all the uh, engine uh, mount on those uh, on those wings as I'm gonna change the engine so I'm trying to reshape and have the same shape then we're gonna start working on those engine and there is if you can see some pictures there is a, a ring next to the fan disc which is a light uh, green color after that I use also a, a very sharp tool uh, with a little point to remove uh, all the, the excess paint uh, was located in um, the static probes and uh, and the pitot tubes so uh, like this I was able to uh, find the space and uh, having no issue to uh, put the decal later on so once uh, the putty was dried of course I uh, removed the excess putty and now we're gonna fix the winglets on the aircraft or the sharklet for Airbus so uh, that required just a little bit of uh, fitting but not much to do basically after that we glue them together and uh, once they dry we will add uh, a little bit of uh, putty on both sides to have a, a smooth spot on uh, those wings and those sharklets of course after uh, that i'm going to start working again on the those engine so after the that uh, light green paint has dried uh, i will start uh, i will be able to paint i have to put a ring around it and then a mask and then i will paint the fan blades and the spinner uh, with a matte black color and later on we will do the leading edge as well using a, a clear metallic paint but uh, that will be for a little bit and of course if you get that close up from the engine you'll see that you have between the lip and that green part you also have a dark uh, a black matte black uh, ring also as i mentioned i had to remove all the small antennas so those are the two flat antennas are located on top and um, on top of the fuselage they were removed when i was uh, sending down everything so what i did is i uh, i recreate them out of a, a plastic card and then uh, get that the proper shape and then uh, i will uh, glue them on top of the of the fuselage after that it was time to uh, start sending down the uh, excess uh, putty from those uh, sharklets. So now it's time to put a second layer of uh, or a second coat of uh, black paint on those uh, fan blades and uh, shortly uh, after the paint uh, will be dried we're gonna remove that uh, that mask and then we're going to start painting the fan blades with uh, some uh, very light uh, metallic color and uh, after that we're going to start uh, building and mounting those engines So for this build I decided to keep the engine separately and to uh, mount them just at the end of the build. Uh, I will paint them separately, I will put all the decals and then I will be uh, able to work a little bit easily and have an easier work on the, on the model and then after that I will be able to uh, paint all the details uh, on the engine themselves. 
So uh, as you can see, I had to do uh, a few layers of uh, putty, uh, especially on the top as I had uh, some, uh, some, um, some little gaps. And then it was time to go to the paint shop. So for this, I will initially paint the Koroga, which is a mix of uh, light gray and metallic paint. And you have that normally on the, on the top of uh, every wings, uh, either on Boeing or uh, Airbus. After that, I put some masking tape and I use a very light gray color for the, the rest of the wing and the winglets. And after that, I will paint the leading edge with a silver color, but uh, that will be shown in another video, in another uh, moment. So I will also repaint all uh, the, the stabilizer and of course the uh, engine mount with uh, that light gray color. After that, it will be time to put um, two layers actually. I had to put about two layers of uh, white coating on that uh, fuselage. And as I will use later on some, uh, some blue paint, I wanted to have at least a correct uh, white color to avoid to have different type of uh, shades on the blue. So this one, uh, this part took quite a while. Uh, I had some issue with uh, the paint. Sometimes it was a little bit too thick. So later on I had to uh, add some more uh, thinner and then I was able to get uh, a proper result. So now I'm going to paint the, the tail and the sharklets and the engine with that uh, blue color. It's a uh, royal blue color and I think it's the uh, X8 from uh, Tamiya. After this, uh, we will be able to uh, start removing the, all the mask. But I have to say before that, that uh, I left uh, the white coat cure for at least a week or five days. Like that, I didn't have any uh, mark on the masking tape because that normally happens if you don't wait too long. Uh, if you wait one day or two days, sometimes you could have some mark uh, on the masking tape. So this time I didn't have that issue and I will keep this trick uh, in the future. I will wait a little bit too long, uh, a little bit longer to cure, uh, to have a proper curing time, proper curing period. After that, uh, I start to uh, rebuild the undercarriage and putting all the, all the gear together. And in the meantime, I repaint as well uh, the wheels as the center of the wheels on the nose landing gear was uh, a white color on that uh, Asian uh, aircraft. So that we fix them on the, on the fuselage and uh, then we'll be able uh, to move on slowly uh, on some uh, other part of that build. So, uh, so far it went very well and I have to say that uh, the only uh, issues I had uh, at some point were uh, mainly the uh, under wings and uh, of course removing the paint. Now it's, start to, it's the time to start working with the decals. So. Um, for this, for I use a NASCAR decal. I have to say that Gaston is uh, is really working very well. I had some issues with him, but he always reply very quickly and uh, correct the situation. So it's really a pleasure to work with him. And I have to say that those decals are very soft, very easy to work with. Uh, sometimes you have to retrim them or cut them, but really I was very very pleased about uh, the final result. But you will be able to judge by them by yourself a little bit later on. So for the tail, mainly you have a, an initial uh, first uh, decal, which is white, as the rest are quite transparent. And then you will be able to add the second, uh, the second decal on, the, on top of those white uh, decals. And that gives a pretty good result uh, for, the, for the tail logo. So I am now going to uh, work on those uh, engines. So what I will do is I will use, I will start uh, painting the metallic uh, 
I will use the metallic paint to paint basically the uh, engine exhaust and there will be different type of metallic colors so uh, what I did is I use uh, some uh, close-up pictures I use that part and then I start painting the basically the cone the exhaust cone with a dark metallic uh, paint and then I will add a little bit of weathering to get that rusty uh, that's rusty texture and of course there was also a ring with a with a darker color uh, just uh, between basically the uh, the exits of the exhaust so you have different type of, uh, of rings and uh, I was able to uh, replicate that but you have uh, some closer picture if you want to check this out and there would be also some uh, more decals and then when the engine is ready we will be able to fit them uh, on the wings So we are doing the almost the last layers of uh, decaling. No, it's mainly the the little details like um, the tail number, the uh, overwing exits, the pitot, uh, the pitot and the static ports. Uh, all those little parts uh, won't take too much. Uh, will take a little bit of time, but they will add a little bit more uh, reality to uh, the model itself. Now we are putting the. Uh, horizontal uh, stabilizer and for this uh, I had to retrim as well the decals and then we're gonna fit uh, the engine uh, and for that I use this time super glue because sometimes it can create some issues And uh, this is the final result of that uh, Airbus EA321 NEO from uh, Asian. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that uh, reconstruction and renovation build with me. If you did so, please give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you can also uh, share those videos. Thank you for watching and see you on the next build.